Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how you guys can add text on Shotcut. And with that said, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started with the video. Now I know that there are different ways to add text on Shotcut, but I found those ways to be a little bit more complicated and take more time to do. So I'm going to be showing you the easiest way that you guys can add text on Shotcut. But I'm also going to show you how to customize that text by downloading your own custom font for free. But for that, we have to head out to Defont.com. So we're in Defont.com right now, and this is a very popular website where people come and get free fonts for any purpose. So as you can see, we have so many fonts right here. We have different categories of fonts as well, but you can also search a particular font that you have in mind. Now I already have pre-selected my font, so I'm just going to scroll down and find it. As you can see, we can either download or just press on the font itself and it will take you to a different page where you can preview the font. Now you guys can also type in your own word or sentence that you guys want to use so you can preview the font, how it's going to look like in font.com itself. Now that I got my font selected, I'm just going to hit the download button and it's going to download automatically for free. From here, I'm just going to open the zip file and I'm just going to extract it to whatever folder I want to download it into. So from here, I'm just going to open the folder and install the font itself. I'm just going to choose this file right here, click on it. A new window should pop open and all we have to do is just hit the install button. It will then automatically install into your computer and the process is basically done. Now I do know that in some computers you have to restart your computer in order to download the font properly, but I haven't had to do that yet. So just make sure that you guys install the font first before opening Shotcut or it might not show up when you're editing. But if that doesn't work, I would suggest for you guys to save your video file, close the program and restart your computer so your font can show up. But with that said, we can hop into Shotcut right now. Okay guys, so we're in Shotcut right now and I have already loaded up my clip that I'm going to be using. But you guys are going to be using your own clip like always. So the first thing we're going to do is add a video track. From there, we're just going to click and drag our video clip and place it onto the video track all the way to the beginning. Now that our video clip is loaded, we're going to go back and add a second video track on top of our clip. Now that the second video track is ready to go, this is where the process of adding text onto your video clip actually starts. Now we're going to be placing our text on top of this video clip on this video track. Now in order to do this, all we have to do is go to the tab that says open other. From there, we're just going to choose color and a new window should pop up. Now for the color, we're just going to set it at transparent like it is on default over here. So this clip says transparent, so we're just going to hit OK and leave it at that. From there, we should be presented with this new screen and we're just going to drag this color clip from the preview window onto our playlist. Now, this is a transparent clip that will not interfere with your video clip at all. And this is where we're going to be placing our text for today's video. Now that we got our transparent clip, all we have to do is just click and drag it onto the second video track on top of our clip. And we're just going to place it wherever in the video you guys want to. And as you can see, and if I move the cursor on top of our transparent video clip, nothing is interrupted. The video clip looks completely normal. The next step is actually making sure we have selected the transparent clip and we're just going to add a filter to it. From there, we're just going to go to filters and hit the plus button. From here, we're going to go to the video tab and we're going to type in text. And as you can see, we have three main selections of text, but we're going to be using text simple. From there, we just select the text simple filter and it should take us to a different screen. And as you can see, we have a time code on their video with text. To delete that, all you have to do is just highlight it and just delete or hit backspace. And we're just going to substitute our own text into it. For now, I'm just going to write subscribe. And if we scroll down here in this little button, this is actually our fonts button. Now this is where we're going to be looking for our custom font that we downloaded off of the font.com. And I found my font that I downloaded it. And there's many effects that you can add to it like a strikeout and underline, but we're just going to keep it simple for now. Over here on the size tab, we can actually put the size that we want to. And I'm just going to leave it at 75, but we can adjust the size later on. From there, we're just going to hit OK and we can see the text is over our video. Now, there's many effects that you guys can add to your text, like the outline and the background, for example. But I'm just going to leave those at default and we're going to come down here to the size and position and the horizontal and vertical fit. For now, I'm just going to leave it at center and middle, but you guys can totally customize this depending on your own video. I'm just showing you some settings that you guys can apply to your text. Now, if you go to your preview screen, you can easily change the size and width of your text just by simply moving the corners. And then you can adjust the placement of your text by selecting the middle and moving the text wherever you guys want to. For now, I'm just going to adjust it just so it can be centered onto my video. 
But if you scroll all the way up, another cool feature that you guys can add are these presets that are already loaded onto Shotcut. Now these presets are basically like animations to reveal your text. You can have it slide in either from the left, right, or from the bottom and top. And you can have it slide out as well. But you guys must know that if you choose a certain preset, your fonts and your placement and the size of your text will change. So you just want to make sure that you choose the preset before you write anything because it will delete all the little effects that you have applied to it and it will restore it to the default font. So choose the effect that you want or the preset that you want, then you can type and add the effects to your text. But of course, there are different ways that you guys can add an effect or transition onto your text. Now, if you guys do not want to use these presets, you can use a different method of adding a sort of transition to your text. All you have to do is just go back to the plus button into the video tab and we're going to choose in fade in video. Now, this will only be applied to your text on the transparent video clip that we have selected. So make sure that's selected. And if I move the cursor to the shaded area, you can see that the text is basically darker. So in order to fix that, all you have to do is just check the adjust opacity instead of fade with black. This will make it transparent all the way to a full on color when you're trying to add the fade in opacity. From there, I'm just going to move the marker up to 30 seconds, but you guys can choose it however long or short you want the transition to be. From there, we're just going to go back to the plus button and to the filters and choose fade out video. From there, you just want to check on that box again, and we're going to put the time at 30 seconds again, but you guys can choose whatever timestamp you want for the fade out opacity. But you still want to make sure that this transparent clip is selected throughout this whole process. Now that we're done adding all the filters that we're going to be adding to this clip, we can just go and select on playlist and we can basically have a little preview of how this text is going to fade in and fade out. And yeah, that's our little preview of how this is going to work. Now, if we go back to filters and go to the presets that we were talking about earlier, we can choose a random preset and it's gonna to make all the text default and removing all the effects. But we can mess around with all these little presets to find the one that best fits you in your video. But just make sure to customize everything again and choose all the effects and the font that you guys want to use. So that's just a little heads up for you guys just in case you want to add a preset later on. Make sure to add all the fonts and the effects that you guys were looking to add in the first place. But that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple process. And like I said before, this is basically the easiest process that I found to add text inside of Shotcut itself. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did consider subscribing because I do have more tutorial videos like this one and if you're looking for any other tutorials on Shotcut you came to the right place because I do have a full on playlist on all the tutorials I have done on Shotcut just in case you guys want to check it out and if you have any video suggestions leave them down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.